Start by removing the balls from the game. This is my method. Extend and raise the playfield. I'm a little careful when the playfield touches the back box. You will only have two different pieces of hardware with the shaker motor. They will require a quarter inch socket or flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. The shaker motor will line up perfectly with the holes that are already drilled. Then simply install the four bolts. Make sure they are securely tightened to the cabinet. You don't want the shaker motor to come loose over time. Attach the power connector that is within the wire loom already. Now install the cover. The two screw holes will line up perfectly. Tighten it down. You have successfully installed your Chicago Gaming Company shaker motor. The shaker motor setting on Cactus Canyon Remake is already coded to be enabled. So all you have to do is get the play field and the glass back in position. Then boot it up. You are now rocking. Or rumbling, whatever. The shaker reaction on Cactus Canyon Remake interacts very well with the game. Some notable moments are when you are hitting Bart, and when the drop targets on the playfield are popping up. 